Hi there, welcome to our reading for the end of November 2016, so November 21st through the 30th. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering. Concern, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everybody. So we are all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave, or ignoring the wave. Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the links I provide below. Show your love and support to the artists, musicians, enjoy the music. See if there's more depth to this reading for you. In the lyrics, sign symbols for you that makes it personal in those links. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the reading and I'll see you in a moment. Hi Capricorn. Welcome. This is our reading for the end of November for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So November 21st through the 30th, 2016. Let's begin with the Life Purpose Oracle Cards and let's see what God's Source, Holy Spirit, our Higher Self angels and energies of love have for the highest, greatest good of all for Capricorn. For the end of November 2016, let's get some clarity on Capricorn. And that one. And that one's nutrition. So you conduct healing work with your culinary skills. So cooking, healing, nutrition, um, I hear music while you're cooking, so perhaps some music in there, or uh, like putting things together like a melody, like putting a meal together like a song, um, you know, with like, you know, with like the, you know, you're building up to the high point and then the finale and the, yeah, I'm seeing almost like, I want to say like a musical score of food. So maybe you have a restaurant or you work in a restaurant or you're changing your diet for your family and yourself, um, cooking more, um, maybe getting ready for Thanksgiving if you're in America. Um, uh, yeah, maybe getting recipes, gathering recipes, doing some research, putting some, uh, I hear healthy substitutions in there. And that just made me think of my mom making the food fake potatoes, like fake mashed potatoes. We usually have both the real mashed potatoes and the fake mashed potatoes, which are actually just mashed cauliflower. It's pretty good. So maybe there's like some substitute interesting things that you could throw in. Um, I'm hearing lunch. So maybe you're changing your lunches or preparing lunches or, um, doing something for your children that's different. Um, perhaps having them uh, help you prepare the night before, something like that where everybody can kind of put their own stuff together so it's done and they're a part of it so they appreciate it. And so I'm getting something like that, but I feel like it's you that kind of has a knack for the cooking or you're getting uh, like interested in something uh, different in the cooking department. Um, so if you are usually a baker, perhaps you are doing something with soups. Um, not everybody is into cooking, but perhaps there's something around food. I'm even, I'm still hearing music. So, um, maybe family get togethers or, um, 
cleaning your kitchen, doing something different with your kitchen so the space is different so that um, cooking is easier. Um, like maybe get a, I see somebody with like an island or, or getting rid of an island or making space somehow in your kitchen different. So culinary skills, maybe recipes as well. You know, putting a book together. Um, I hear family. So maybe there's family recipes, um, something passed down, maybe uh, from holidays, cookies, pies, salads, casseroles, uh, um, maybe just you're not even the one that does the cooking, but you're putting together something for your children or for the internet or, um, yeah, maybe even taking pictures of food. I feel like a lot of people might do that, but I feel like this is professional for some reason, like different, like maybe for a restaurant or your restaurant, or maybe there's pictures of your specific meals or something with, um, yeah, I'm getting like how you display the plate and the flowers on it and the fancy way that you put the like syrup. So maybe you, you do something, um, artistic and you're putting that flair into food or somebody's helping you put some artistic flair into what you normally do. Um, let's get more clarity for Capricorn on nutrition, um, healing work. I feel like you're teaching somehow or um, you have interesting ways to throw nutrition in like fun meals like macaroni and cheese or something like that that perhaps um you know you can put some vegetables or something like that i feel like you're adding nutrition to something that's not so you're either substituting or uh putting more vegetables and fruits and things in your diet that maybe aren't uh normally there maybe now that it's uh getting colder or perhaps where you are it's getting warmer um but maybe there's different things coming into season right now. I feel like you're doing something different, but adapting on something that you know, or that like grandma taught you, you know, something like that. All right, let's get another card for Capricorn for November. Three of Raphael, so maybe you are with family or friends or gatherings or like dinners or lunches or um, I, see, I see just like table conversation, laughter, um, you know, cleaning up the, the dishes, but I feel like it's the experience. It's the people, you know, almost like I see almost like a house that's, I want to say like Grand Central Station, like, you know, different somebody comes over, somebody else leaves. Somebody else comes over or maybe you're going over somebody's house like that where there's kids or a lot of action. Um, I feel like there's joy here. It's the three of Raphael. So it's like the three of cups. So it's usually like an event, a get together, a gathering. You talk about things. You enjoy yourselves. There's different energies. Ideas come up. Um, it's just joy. It's having fun with friends. Um, pleasure getting creative together um you know each of you having your own spice and throwing it in the soup um or somebody makes the ice cream somebody makes the salad somebody plays with the kids in the yard you know it's reasons to celebrate a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships and children so it could be like an invitation to a party or an invitation to a date, perhaps a, a date with your friends. So it's not so like maybe not a one on one date, but maybe like a group date where you meet somebody or you go out with a group and you meet somebody. Um, I feel like ideas always come through here. Uh, time goes by quickly. Um, you know, unless you're here at the party and you're not having fun, um, I would say uh, try to get involved more, uh, try to get into the experience and like, I want to say extend yourself a little bit, or maybe there's somebody else who's sort of like, you know, like they sit back and they don't like participate as much. And maybe you can like help them participate. Um, like the outcast, 
you know, like, come on, help me mix this up, you know, uh, I'm still seeing a kitchen, so maybe it, it's around a kitchen, um, you're teaching someone else to cook or hang out, uh, children, there's relationships with children, so, um, yeah, maybe I'm seeing, like, different personalities altogether, adults or children, um, but working together pretty well. Um, you know, maybe there's different emotions or everyone has a different point at where they are, but it's like, you know, that energy all kind of mingles together and makes it fun. Um, I feel like that's something really fun, Capricorn. So let's move along to a new tarot deck that I just got. This is called the Deviant Moon. And let's get clarity on the Three of Raphael, the Three of Cups. Um, perhaps... You know, make sure you don't overdo, you know, the participation and the celebration as well. If there's a party or something going on, I would say, you know, if there's children around, you know, I would say Capricorn, you're the one probably keeping things in check. You know, maybe you're having fun, but I would say if, you know, just be aware there's other people around and, uh, you know, don't go overboard. But I don't feel like that's you. Maybe you're just taking care of somebody else who, like, hasn't gone out in a while and had a glass too much of wine, something like that. But, I don't, uh -huh, you know, I don't think it's a big deal. Just maybe, like, pour the half a glass for that person that might have too much instead of the whole glass, you know. Spread it out a little bit so you all have fun. <laughs> all right, let's get another card for um, Capricorn. Yeah, I definitely think it's not you, Capricorn. I feel like you're pretty much the one that's pretty good at, like, you know, handling everything and balancing things out between, especially between, like, work and uh, having fun. I feel like Capricorn's probably the best, in my opinion, at that. They can, like, handle both pretty well, put themselves out there, get into it, and still, like, be responsible with getting up at work the next day if they were out the night before. Or, like, they just... You guys are awesome. You handle things really well. So I feel like... If there's someone else around you that's not you, it's probably someone else around you that might go overboard. Um, all right, let's get a card for Capricorn. Oh my, hold on. That was way too many Capricorn. That was too many, too many. So we're going to put that back. Let's get one card for Capricorn on nutrition and three of Raphael celebration abundance love and that's the five it's children there's children around I'm getting children out of this or you're remembering like you're talking about stories about things you did as a kid I feel like this is happy maybe there's somebody who's not in a good mood and everybody else is Capricorn. So pay attention to that and see if there's somebody that's like the harsh mom or dad and you know they're like don't do that. You know and this kid like there's somebody here who's trying to give responsibility out and teach and then there's like this child here who spilled all the cups over and they just don't want to hear it. They don't want to pay attention to their own responsibility or they don't think it's such a big deal and they're actually teaching the adult or the older person here and saying, it's okay, you know, why are you so worried about that? It's just spilled milk. It's just spilled Kool-Aid. You know, there's two full here and we have a pitcher in the, in the, a pitcher of lemonade in the refrigerator still. Like, you know, I'm looking at this like a kid, like, he kind of has his tongue out and he has like, he's like, I don't see you and I don't hear you. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to face my responsibilities. But there's something you do have to face here among the chaos. There's always a lesson learned here. There's always something that brings you into balance because of the imbalance in the five of cups. So it could be somebody like in the corner, you know, at a gathering kind of crying over something that went wrong. Maybe somebody didn't show up. Their friend didn't turn up, you know, they said they were going to come over and play and now this kid's alone. Or, um, it's just learning to change your focus. So, if you notice somebody focusing on 
something that's a little bit heavier when everything else is light, try to lighten up the situation. Just, I would say, like, go in, be like, come on, let's clean it up together, help give responsibility without making it so extreme between the no, 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 and the I don't hear you, you know, kind of try to merge that energy and see eye to eye or in the other person's situation, however this is, to try to make everybody even, you know, I would say just go in, clean it up, pick it up, come on, let's do the dishes together, here, dry this off, let's go, and on with the next, like, don't waste time where it's just wasting time, you know, on things that don't really matter. That's all this is. So pay attention to where time is being wasted and energy is being wasted and it's just kind of silly in the end and there's probably another way to get through that without it being like a crying fit, you know, or you get over emotional about something or somebody else does about something that's not really that big a deal. It's kind of simple. So just if you see that situation, kind of change that focus around and you can kind of change that situation around from what it could be. I feel like this could drag on or become like escalated or, you know, someone could start crying or having a fit or something and it doesn't have to be that. So just acknowledge, you know, the situation if you see it and see if you can like even it out, you know, kind of be the peacemaker here. I feel like that's you if there's different energies, but that's not that's not everybody. Sometimes it's just, you know, something goes wrong and you're focusing on that too much and you should just like get over the hump and get on with the day. Like there's, there's more time to play later. There's better things to do here. There's more time for fun. So don't get wrapped up in like being late or, you know, like getting stuck in traffic or anything like that. Like don't come into the party all complaining, whatever, when you're here, have a good time, you know, don't get stuck in the traffic kind of thing. <laughs> All right, so I have one more card for this reading, and this is also a new deck. This is uh, The Oracle of Visions by Sierra Machete, and let's get one more card for the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, and Nutrition, Healing for Capricorn, end of November. Card. Clarify Capricorn. And that's 20. Ooh, that's really an interesting picture. 24. So that's a six. So that brings you to the balance after that chaos, after you change your focus or help somebody else change their focus back into like happy, happy focus, you know, what's good, what you can do, where you can go now instead of getting stuck somewhere. This is also, there's a chess game here, a kitten, and a butterfly. There's a bunch of like butterflies, I want to say in a cage, but it doesn't look like they're trapped. I feel like they could probably just crawl out. Um, even though you're opening up this transformation, you're opening up somebody to grow, to change. I feel like you're transforming a situation that was just a game, you know, before everybody had an opinion, everybody had a different way to play this. And there's a way that you can figure out a way for it to, um, work together for you guys to work together. Um, to unveil something, to, uh, reveal something to, I, I feel like you're taking an opportunity or, um, like bathing in the sunshine. It's like you're revealing something. So something's coming back into balance. You're, I want to say like, you know, you made that final move or you figured out that solution to set something free. Um, I feel like there's something healing here with the kitten there's like a kitten so i think of something purring and energy and vibration healing you know like that uh like static or like that vibration healing negative energy and just kind of taking it away um cleansing the air um and something that was like unseen before like literally like energy that you couldn't see but you could feel in somebody's mood or you know environment or what was going on before you got there kind of thing so let's see what 24 means. Letting go and 
offering a way out. So truly loving another means letting go of all expectations. It means full acceptance, even celebration. That's cool. Celebration of another's personhood. Just who they are. You know, if someone's kind of grumpy when they get up, it's just who they are. Just wait till they wake up and then, you know, go with it. It's learning who everyone is and working with all those energies together. That's why I, I still see like a family or like roommates or yeah, even like a new family coming in or like you going over a friend's house and just sort of like getting along with that family. Um, have the courage to set it free. If it flies away, it was never truly yours. If it returns of its own free will, that's why they think the butterflies, or where is this one in color, can just sort of like come back if they want. They weren't really trapped. Um, they were just like kind of hanging out together in that cage. Uh, if it returns of its own free will, then you know for sure it was yours. Such is the old adage regarding a loved one. To truly love and be loved, love has to be given and returned freely and unconditionally. This image cap captures that moment of release. Will the butterfly return or leave through the open window? It is a poignant moment of one and one of courage for the girl who has released the butterfly, but is herself a prisoner. Her scenario is symbolically represented by the chess pieces. The analogy of imprisonment can, of course, be applied to self-incarceration. We are often prisoners trapped in a cell of our own making, either by fear, perceptions of duty, or loyalty to causes or people. Whether caring for a loved one or feeling trapped by financial, medical, or other such circumstances can represent emotional imprisonment as real as any barred window. So maybe somebody is there and not celebrating, you know, they're looking at all the shit that went wrong and maybe that, that could be you, you know, you could feel like that, but this is helping you change your perspective. Um, to let something go that doesn't work, to maybe let something go you're attached to and see how it flies on its own. Give somebody else freedom. Allow yourself some freedom to maybe um, have some time. Maybe you feel like you're the only one responsible if you're taking care of like older parents or young children or, you know, just uh, your husband or your wife, you know, something like that. And you feel like you don't have time for you. You still feel trapped. You know, you have to do you know, your shit, you can't get out of it. So maybe there's help coming through here. You know, you got celebration. If somebody offers help, don't say no, 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 because you think you're the only one that can do it right or do it like that. Teach somebody, you know, reach out a hand and extend somebody and help them to learn so maybe they can help you in the future as well. And it's not all on your plate. You know, you're not cooking everything yourself. You're maybe giving away the duty of the, the dessert to somebody else. Whatever that is on your plate. Whatever that is that's, you know, too much that you're holding. Um, so maybe you have to teach somebody how to have this responsibility. So you have to allow them to do it by themselves first. And maybe mess up. Maybe do it perfect. Maybe do it again a couple times until they get it. You know, and just, I feel like with a gentle hand, help that situation through. You know, this could be you learning how to feel free, taking a little time off, giving a little responsibility away, or it could be somebody around you. Um, either way, I, th I feel like something's definitely coming back into balance and maybe you're done with that game or someone around you is and you can help the situation out within yourself or around you. All right, Capricorn, I hope this was helpful. I hope you have a beautiful end of November and I'll see you soon. Bye.